everyone, it's Christy from rockabyebabyreviews.com.au and today I'm reviewing the Bugaboo Donkey. Now the donkey, they carry a lot of things, so this is no exception. This pram has some fantastic storage and it's also Bugaboo's convertible stroller that goes from the mono mode to a duo mode. So it's a very unique pram in the fact that it extends from having your one child, you flick a few levers, push a button, it extends out and you can add a second seat for your second child. So really fantastic. You have lots of flexibility with the configuration because the seat can face out or it can face you. It has two level recline when it's facing out and a three level recline when it's facing you. You also have this fantastic basket, which, you know, who doesn't need more storage when they're out and about? It's fantastic when you're doing your shopping. And you've also got a very large basket underneath that you can also access. Anything that is white has a function. So we'll just start with the handle. It telescopes out, so you need to flick two white levers down. And it has the level that it flips out to, and it has a really long extension. So it actually goes from 83 centimetres all the way up to 106 centimetres, so it's huge. You're going to be really far away from this pram, even if you want to attach the toddler board, and even if the seat is facing you. I'll tell you the dimensions. So it's only 60 centimetres wide. It may look a little bit wider, because the widest part is actually the handle. It is the same width as the Bugaboo Chameleon. Um, the actual depth is 88 centimetres, and the height goes from 83 all the way up to that 106 centimetres once you've fully extended the handle. Bugaboo have three different ways that you can purchase the pram. You can purchase it as the mono, as seen here. You can purchase it as a duo, and you can also purchase it as a twin. So you get lots of flexibility to have this pram suit whatever lifestyle you're about to step into. All right, now I'm just gonna run through a few of the configurations with the seats and the folds. The seat itself, example here, is actually in the black base fabrics and then you have the great cream sun canopy, which is lovely. The seat itself goes from six months up to 17 kilos and you use the bassinet attachment from newborn up to that six months. When you purchase the pram, you get the seat frame and then you get the seat fabric and the bassinet fabric. So you can just chop and change with whatever age your baby is. To recline the seat, you have a toggle on the back of the seat here. You just lift that up and that drops it down. It's a really easy, soft recline. And that's the second level. You have two levels on the forward base. To return it back to the actual level, you just lift the lever up and you tilt it forward. To fold, you can do a freestanding fold with the donkey. If you just push the white levers down the front, that will lock your front wheels for you. You come around, you squeeze these white levers down and you grab the post underneath here, tuck your wheels under and that's the freestand fold. So it is not the most compact fold, but you can still get it more compact by taking off the basket and the actual seat itself before you fold. To unfold, it's a matter of pulling out, you need to unlock the frame by pushing back on these white levers and it clicks back into place. You can obviously just pull these up if you want to use the swivel wheels. Now to reverse the seat, you just push down these white levers here. It's very simple, you can do it one handed because it has memory, you don't have to push them both at the same time. Lift up, you swing around, you line up your posts and that's it. To recline the seat again in the forward, in the facing towards you, lift up your lever, that's the second level, and that's your third level. To fold with the seat this way, <clears throat> you need to actually tilt it down one more level, so the level is basically more in line with the handles, and it's the same procedure in relation to locking your front wheels if you want that freestand fold. Clicking your handles. And there we go, you have the freestand fold there in the rearward face. Same way to set it up. Remember to unlock it by pulling up. And obviously you don't want to put your baby in that level, so you just tilt that back up to whatever is convenient for you. To put the bassinet on, you take the seat off. Very simple to do. You grab your bassinet. You line it up. And you're ready to go. You can fold it with the bassinet, same procedure, where there's actually a lever at the base of the bassinet here, you need to lift that up, and you tilt the bassinet down, so it's in line with the handlebar, 
same procedure with unlocking the handlebar with those white levers, pulling up, tucking under, and that's your freestand bond with the bassinet. So, the brake on the Bugaboo is this fantastic little red brake. It is so easy to do. You can even do it without shoes on. It's very gentle. The sun canopies themselves are two panels. They're nice and large, but they don't have a peekaboo window. But I suppose that's the trade of being able to face it towards you as well. When you're selecting your canopies, you have a huge amount of options thanks to Bugaboo. And you also have options with the base fabrics. So you choose your base fabrics and then you choose what canopies you'd like to complement those. I'll also quickly show you the two wheel mode. It's so simple in the donkey. It's just a matter of squeezing this white lever here and flicking it under and you're in the two wheel mode straight away. To go back to four wheel mode, tilt it down and you're back in the two four wheel mode. So let's put it in the duo mode. You don't have to remove the basket, but I will just so that you can see what I'm doing a bit easier. And it has three latches, so you need to click this latch here. There's a white latch down the bottom and there's one at the front here. Then you need to push this white button whilst also pulling out. And you'll hear that that actually clips in there. You flick these buttons back together. That one on, and the one on the handlebar. And your frame has now been extended. You grab your second seat and you line it up. Now you're in the duo mode. It is a fantastic multi-terrain stroller. So you do find even in the duo mode that you don't really feel a huge amount of that weight because the drivability is so fantastic. It really can just turn on itself. The width in the duo mode is 72 centimeters wide. It still has the same height and it's still 88 centimeters deep. What you'll find is in Australia, our standard door widths are 82 centimetres. So this being 72 centimetres, you should be able to fit this pram through a standard doorway, no problem. That being said, if you do attach the twin car seat adapter, uh, depending what country you're in, that will widen the width of the pram and you might not be able to get through those standard doorways. Very simple again in the duo to go into the two mode, pressing up on that white handlebar again and you just flick under. So, so simple to do and so easy to convert back to the four wheel mode. The accessories available for the Bugaboo are fantastic and the donkey is no exception. You have the parasol, which is the umbrella, a sun breezy canopy, you have seat liners, snack trays, transport bags, foot muff, cup holders, organizer, a toddler wheelie board, a mosquito net and car seat adapters. You just need to check the address over here that I'm pointing to on the Bugaboo website to see what's available in your country in relation to the car seat adapters. All right, so we're just going to show you the fold in the duo. It is possible. So just turning on the side so that you can get a better look. And remembering that the handle at the lowest and the front wheels locked will make it easier if you want that freestand fold. You just clip your handlebar down, you grab the centre of the bar, you pull it up, and that's the freestand fold in the duo. Set it back out again, flip out your front seats, come grab your white buttons on the handlebar, and you're ready to go. Now we're just going to convert it back just to show you how quick and simple it is, especially you know you go out to the shops and you just want to convert it back. So you remove the seat here by pressing the white buttons. You set that to the side, then you unflick your levers again, there, there, and there pressing the white button and just pushing that in together, putting those levers back together, one, two and three, grab your basket, super handy at the shops and you're back in the mono mode. Now we're going to take a closer look at the seat. It has a five point padded harness, it has lovely padding here. It's quite a simple clip, it's just about pushing the two side buttons out and the two toggles come out and then just a matter of pushing them back in to clip them back into the harness. So not a puzzle piece or anything to do. The great thing with the donkey harness is it is really simple to adjust. You just need to pull down and then easily just slide that back up and down. So it's, it doesn't need to be re-threaded when you need to move it up and down for your baby, which is great. It has a nice uh, padded footwell, a padded seat. All the fabrics on the seat are machine washable. The dimensions, of the seat, it's 27 centimeters wide, it's 48 centimeters high to the back of the seat, 
and from the bottom of the seat to the top of the Academy canopy is 53 centimeters. The bottom is 22 centimeters from the back to the front and then you've got your knee drop. It does have a removable bumper just by pushing the white buttons either side. It's not a swing away, maybe in an additional upgrade that will be a swing away, but it is an additional thing that you can remove. Now the wheels themselves are air-filled tyres. There's no suspension in the donkey, but that's because you get that suspension from the air in the tyres. The back is 30cm tyres and the front are 25cm tyres, which are lockable, just by pushing the lever down and it will lock into place. The storage on board, obviously you have this fantastic deep basket, you fit so much in here. A standard nappy bag, uh, shopping, bags, you know, bread, milk, you can fit everything in there and then, you know, your nappy bag can still fit under here. A great thing with the basket underneath this bag, um, underneath the pram, is it actually has these um, elasticised um, sections that you can store extra additional things in. So you can put your wallet, a drink bottle, and they tuck into the mesh pockets on the side. So that's also really convenient um, instead of getting things lost in the bag. And obviously you notice when you extend that out to the duo, it also gets bigger, so you've got even more storage. Here's our one year old tester in the donkey, and our two and a half year old tester in the donkey. And now for a mum's take on the Bugaboo donkey. You have so much flexibility in relation to the configuration of this pram. The options are almost endless. You know, you can have the car seats, you can have the kids facing inwards or outwards, you can have it in the mono, all the duo mode. When testing this out, it was really simple. When at the shops to go from the double back to the single, add on that storage basket, which is just fantastic. Who doesn't love more storage? Um, and a lot of prams are lacking great storage and the donkey definitely doesn't disappoint. It is a little bit more on that higher price bracket. It, we couldn't show you in a smaller car because it does have that bulkier fold and the width obviously isn't for all shops. But again, you can put it down to that mono um, with single and it's the same width as the chameleon. So it is fantastic to drive, um, even out and about going to the park. It was really a beautiful pram to drive. As I mentioned, the donkey comes in three options. So you have the mono, which the recommended retail price is $1,649. You have the duo, which the recommended retail price is $1,999. And you have the twin configuration at $2,199. Click on the link on our screen right now. It'll take you to our website so you can subscribe to our newsletter and be kept up to date with all our recent review releases, our competitions, and our baby product notifications. And that's the review for the Bugaboo Donkey. And I'm Christy from rockabyebabyreviews.com.au.